Hi, I'm Daniel and welcome to this week's episode. Call the Port Authorities, Volition Software has announced that its PS4 and Xbox One port of Saints Row 4, subtitled Re-Elected, and its expansion Get Out of Hell will be released a little earlier than expected. Both will be released on January 20th, a week earlier than announced. Volition hasn't given a reason for the earlier release dates, but it makes a nice change from the usual announcement that a game will be delayed. Both the game and its expansion are to be released separately and in a cheaper bundle for next-gen consoles. Swab the poop deck because Admiral Google has a new ambassador for the living room. Google have announced the Nexus Player, a set-top box to rival the Roku and Apple TV. The device runs on the Android TV OS and features voice control as well as a host of streaming services, with 28 services including YouTube and Netflix. The device is also capable of screen mirroring other Android devices to your television and can cast just about any device, including iOS devices and Mac. Of course, the device will also have access to the Google Play Store and its selection of games. A controller made by Asus will be available for the purpose of playing games on your TV and many games can be expected to run on the device. Marshall Honoroff, a reporter for Tom's Guide, says on the potential future of the device, Although the device shows potential, it's far too early to make any sweeping statements about how well the next player might work, or how it might affect the overall set-top box scene. Whether Android TV supports the entirety of the Play Store or just a specific selection of media apps, for example, is still up in the air. While not all the details are known, including price and release date, it is sure that this product is on its way. Could Google dominate the living room too? No longer simply a sign of an officer, Sony's proposing moustaches for all! Sony Computer Entertainment Europe has been announced as an official supporter of this year's Movember, an annual charity event encouraging men to grow moustaches and raise money for mental illness, testicular and prostate cancer. Sony has a few things planned for their Movember celebrations, encouraging Mobros to grow moustaches and Mo Sisters to celebrate the face buzz. Special edition moustache vinyls will be released to stick onto the DualShock's light bar called Moglows. Special edition illustrations have been commissioned of Sony characters joining in with the fun, and Galahad, the main character of The Order 1886, will be regrowing his whiskers right along with you. Speaking of the partnership, Usama al Kasab, VP of Product Marketing at PlayStation said, We're extremely excited to be a part of Movember. We have a fantastic opportunity to bring the PlayStation community together and take part in a simple yet brilliantly fun way of raising awareness of men's health issues. Sony will be offering prizes for fundraisers and participators, girls and boys alike, including UEFA Champions League final tickets, that's soccer for you Americans, and games and consoles for lucky winners. For a full list of platinum events and updates, keep up with the PlayStation EU blog, and remember, friends don't let friends shave. With a sea of guest appearances and land ahoy for its upcoming release date, LEGO Batman 3 already has an impressive roster of cameo appearances, but just a month before its release, developers Traveller's Tales are still surprising us with more. Earlier this week, Conan O'Brien, Duck Dodgers as the Green Loonton, and more were added to the game. According to the panel at New York Comic Con, Conan O'Brien will act as a guide through the open world gameplay. Handy, as in this latest edition of the game, you'll have entire planets to explore. The voices of Joe Alasky and Stephen Amell, star of hit TV show Arrow, are also featured in the game. The list of wacky characters that will be featured in LEGO Batman 3 is huge, so keep your eyes peeled for more. First mate Nintendo has hidden some treasure on Pokemon Island. As if the hype for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire wasn't already at an all-time high, Nintendo have announced that from Tuesday 21st of October, fans will be able to download special demo versions of the games. Nintendo have not said exactly what the demos will include, but we will get a glimpse into what November 28th has in store for us. There is one catch, however. The demo will not be freely available on the eShop like most demos, so you'll need a special code. If you're desperate for a sneak peek into these Pokemon remakes, head to the official Pokemon website and create a Pokemon Trainer Club account and opt in to the mailing list. There are other ways of getting the code through some very random means, so keep checking your emails for that very special code. 
Furthermore, it's been announced that there will be mega evolutions of the roaming legendaries Latios, only available in Alpha Sapphire, and Latias, which is exclusive to Omega Ruby, and both sport a very flattering shade of purple. Perhaps that will sway you towards a version if you haven't already decided which one you'll be getting. If not both, but get both, you know it's right. That's all for this week. For links and info, take a peek down in the booty. Are you looking forward to the Pokemon demos? Planning on growing a little lip slug next month? And are you looking forward to Google's living room revolution? Let us know in the comments. If you missed the last episode, you can catch it here. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. See you next time.